Morning everybody, this is a short video to explain about exchange rates, what they are, and also how you can illustrate the change in the exchange rate of a currency using a diagram. So the first thing to know is the definition, and an exchange rate is the price of one currency in terms of another. You're always talking about the value of one currency against another currency. The only way of measuring the value of one currency is in terms of another currency, because that would allow you to buy the other currency. So for example, you might be looking at the price of pounds in terms of euros. And as we know, for anything, when you want to work out the price of something, you need to find out where the quantity demanded is equal to the quantity supplied. And you can do that in a normal demand and supply diagram. What the difference is here when you're labeling the axes, normally P and Q, price and quantity, but here you need to make sure that you're writing, for example, the price of pounds in euros. It's not just price. You have to say which currency you're looking at your currency against and which one you're measuring its value in. And then, as normal, this is your quantity. So then, all you need to do is you just need to put in the demand, down for demand. And that, remember, is the demand for pounds, because we're looking at the price of pounds. This is all about the market for pounds. And then you need to put in the supply of pounds. And then you can see in the diagram where the price of the pound is, just got to change pens, in relation to euros by looking at the equilibrium. So you find out where the price of the pound is by finding where the demand for pounds is and where it's equal to the supply for pounds, which is here at the equilibrium. So you know that the price of pounds is at P and the quantity is at Q. And then what you can do for them here, so remember this diagram is looking at the market for pounds, is you can see how different scenarios will affect the value of the pound against the euro. So for example, if there was an increase in the quantity demanded of UK exports. Now remember, if you want to buy something from the UK, the person buying it must pay using pounds. So if it's somebody in France, they have to buy pounds in order to buy the thing from the UK. So they turn up with their euros and they buy lots of pounds. So if we have an increase in the quantity demanded of UK exports, more people abroad want to buy things from the UK. This will mean that there will be an increase in the quantity demanded of pounds. And you know already that if you have an increase in quantity demanded, that remember this is the market for pounds, that shifts the demand curve to the right. So it's a parallel shift to the right, like this. And you put in your nice clear D1. And then all you do to find the new price of pounds in terms of euros is you put in the dotted lines for your new equilibrium, which is here. And that will give you the new exchange rate. It will give you the new price of pounds in terms of euros. So you can see that the price of pounds has gone up from P to P1. And what we'd say there is the pound has appreciated, that means it's worth more, against the euro. Because a currency only gets stronger or weaker against another currency. And then you can just look at lots of different situations and you can see whether it's going to affect. You always need to be thinking, does it affect the demand for the currency? Will that be shifting either less demand for the currency or more demand for the currency? Or is it affecting the supply of the currency? Is there going to be less supply of the currency or is there going to be more supply of the currency? And we'll look at that a bit more in some other videos.